Hey everybody, I hope you guys are having a great Monday. It is September 24th, 2018. Um, I'm hopping on here for just a quick live stream. I wanted to kind of just address a few things and just kind of give you guys some motivation for your week. I want to know a few questions that I'm gonna ask of you before we get started, we'll let people chime, chime in. Hey Ken, hey Delena, hey Arthur, thanks for joining. Um, definitely wanted to chat with you guys just for a few minutes and ask you a few questions and just kind of see where you guys are at. So we'll let everybody um, chime in and join. Uh, hi, Laura. Hi, Sarah. Yes, surprise live stream. Uh, just got home from my doctor's appointment. We won't even get into that right now. It's a whole other, whole other story, a whole other live stream, a whole other, whole other thing. But wanted to just uh, check in with you guys on this wonderful Monday. Um, again, hope you guys are having a 30,000 feet. Arthur is in the air flying. Awesome. Thanks for joining. So, okay, so let's get started. And then those that are jumping on after, you know, rewind at the beginning and, and start over and let me know if you are watching this later on replay, just check replay on there. All right. So as my title says, it says, are you dedicated? Are you determined to win? And so I'm going to ask you guys a first a few questions first. Okay. So I want you to think about this. Tell me, and you can chime it in in the box, what your current talents are or hobbies. What are some things that you really enjoy doing or that you have a talent in? It could be that you're really good at yoga or you're an amazing golfer or you took piano and you can play the piano like beautifully. Maybe you're in martial arts and you're like a black belt. What is some of the things that you do well and that you enjoy doing that maybe took you some time to, to learn the skill or learn to do? Um, chime in below. Let me see what you guys are saying because, you know, Avon's our business, but what do you guys do like on, you know, for fun or for things that, you know, you enjoy? And maybe, like I said, it's something that took you a long time, or maybe it's something that you did when you were a youth. Maybe you were a soccer star or an amazing cheerleader. Um, chime in down below. Let me see what you guys are saying. If, I, if my comments are working, let's see. Hi, Tina. Hi, Alice. Hey, Kelly. Uh, being a sew sewing, crocheting, oh, awesome. So that's what Alice is. So Alice, when you first picked up the needle to do it and your first bits of yarn, it wasn't easy, right? You were probably like, how do I do these stitches? And it probably was really slow for you at first, getting those first stitches down before you were able to just really just do it with your eyes closed, right? I bet, I bet. Because I know that I once somebody was teaching me how to do some some knitting and it was like, oh, this is this is interesting. And I was very slow at first. And my first piece was kind of crooked and weird. And like I just used it more as a stress relief is what I was doing. Just the stitch itself. So, Alice, when you're sewing and crocheting, it wasn't something that probably you immediately were great at. I bet you could look back at some of your early projects and maybe you had some crooked things or things that didn't come out quite right. Uh, stitches were off or whatever. It took some time, right? So tell me guys, what else? I'm, I'm scrolling down to see. What do we got here? Introvert. Hi, Ariana. Good to see you. Singing in Zumba, selling. So Ken says he's really good at selling. So Ken, we're watching you. I can't wait to see your first orders. I know he's going to be great. Um, so singing for, for Delena in Zumba and, De, and Delena, I'm sure that's like a hobby of yours and you enjoyed it, but maybe with extra practice and skill, you got better and better at your Zumba classes, learning the routines. Same thing with the singing. If maybe you had choir in school or whatever, you just really enjoyed it and you hone your craft, right? So what is the point that I'm getting at? It is, it does relate back to Avon. It has to do with the fact that how many things, okay, here's another question before we get into that. How many things have you done before that you went, Oh, I tried that golfing thing or I tried the whatever. I'm just not good at it. And it was way too hard. It was just way too hard. And I quit. How many things I can tell you as a child, I remember my mom said I started ballet. I was really little though. I think I was like four or five. And I told her I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to do it again. Um, and so I quit and you know, she let me quit, um, you know, kind of thing. But you know, maybe if I'd stuck with it, you know, and me was pushed a little bit more, I would have, I would have stayed, but you have to enjoy what you're doing as well, right? When you're doing something. So how many things in your life have you started and quit? Type down your answers below. Let me know. It could be something that was a, that was a hobby, uh, snow skiing. So you just got up on the snow skis and you're like, was that something that you were doing, Delena? Or it was like, oh, this is too hard. And then Laura says, 
She designed and decorated kids for her kids' birthdays when they were younger. So that's something you really enjoy. And you probably honed your craft and looked up things like how you could do them better and, and get better at it and do it. So I'm sure, though, for all of us, there are things in our life that we have started and said, this is too hard, this is not for me, and I quit. And you know what? For some of you, you know, there's going to be certain things in your life that just are not for you and you know, you quit and it, maybe it's, I hate to say this, but for some of you, you may be a second time around with Avon or a third time around with Avon because you did it once before and you were like, oh, it's too hard or I don't have the motivation or I don't have whatever. So I quit. Or maybe you've been with several different direct selling businesses before and you just had not found maybe the proper product that, or something that you really believe in. And so you, you started something, you got some experience and then you're like, it's not really for me. Let me find the one that's for me. And um, for me, of course, that's that's Avon in, re in regards to my business. Um, in the years of Avon, um, I was telling somebody the other day, and I think it was Ken, I think it was you, that at one point in my Avon career, I tried uh, another business on the side. And uh, I can tell you that I learned, I learned a lot from that, but it was not for me. The tactics that were being used to do that kind of business were not ethically comfortable for me. Um, I'm a very honest person. I like to tell people right out in front what what it is with Avon, what they're doing. You know, give them all the information, let them decide. And with this other business, it was kind of like we can get you on with this person, we can get you on with that person. And then it was, it was a lot of if I myself could not personally sell the product of what that was, then I could not mentor other people with it is how I felt and I and I did that for like eight months and this was many many moons ago it was with Avon I've never quit my Avon but it was like a side thing that I was doing at home with it and I can tell you that like I said it just felt weird and wrong that I could recruit people with it day and night I could recruit people I could get people people signing up but where it felt wrong for me and where I quit on this one was the fact that if those if I couldn't even sell the product part of it, how could I expect the people that I was coaching to do the same? Right. So I told the people that I signed up with, this is not for me. I says, I've not been able to sell one plan of this in the, the eight months. I've, I've sold two. I sold two plans in eight months on this. And that's it. And all I'm doing otherwise is you're giving me numbers of people and they're signing up. So I said, this business is a sign up business. I said, then that's not what I'm looking for. I said, so I'm out. I says, I need to stay with exactly what I'm doing, which is my Avon, which I love so much, which I don't know why I looked in another direction, because with this, I, I passionate about it. I'm passionate about it. I can help other people. Um, I'm happy with it. I love the products. I love what the company stands for. So when you find that, and hopefully you are home with Avon, hopefully this is something that, you know, if you have been in other direct sales or you've tried other things before, hopefully you found your home here with Team Money Makers and with Avon. Um, and if you're watching this, of course, on YouTube and you're on, the, you're on another Avon team, hopefully you found your home just in Avon because Avon sisters and brothers, we really do band together to take really good care of each other. There's a lot of us on YouTube. There's a lot of us that have great groups on, on Facebook. And so we really are an amazing community. And if you've never experienced that in direct sales before, you will experience it in your Avon communities. But the point I was getting to, of course, with the, the quitting and the, you know, quitting things in your life and then uh, sticking with other things. If you have a regular day job, which some of you still work regular day jobs, some of you have been blessed enough, such as myself, in my business to say, I've never had to go get that, you know, a regular day job. Um, did I dabble in a few things on the side before? Yes. And I quit them because I realized you have an amazing vehicle with Avon. Why are you even trying to do something else. The old phrase is that, you know, a person that chases what two rabbits, uh, what catches neither of them, right? So I realized stop trying to focus my energy on having two and three little things and just stick with your Avon. And you know what, when I made that choice, when I said no more of this dipping my hands in other things, which I, I don't want to burn get anybody upset here. If you have several different businesses, you're watching this on YouTube or you're in our team and you have several different, and you're able to do them successfully and you're happy with it that is of course 100 that's why you're a boss of your own businesses 
and you make that decision. And, and I'm not telling you to whatever. I'm just saying personally, I know from, from my experience that when you try to chase two rabbits, you're not going to be able to catch neither. And you might as well personally for me, focus on just one and become amazing at one and focus all of your time and energy. It also sends another me message. If you are building customers and you're building team members and then your team members say, see you posting on Facebook, you know, that you joined Avon, but then a week later they see you posting that you're in another business or in another business, they're going to start questioning, well, maybe she's not making enough with that business that she needs to have all these other ones or why is she not dedicated in just what she's doing? It must not, it must not be making her enough money. Now, when you first start a business, that's the other part of it. Um, when you first start a business, okay, you can't expect, of course, to be overnight rich, sen sensationally, you know, whatever. Any direct selling business that tells you they can do that to you overnight is giving you a bunch of whatever, okay? I'm just, I'm just saying it's, it's not going to happen without hard work and dedication, okay, period. Um, when you work a day job, which a lot of you still work day jobs um, for, for a regular boss, you know, when you get that job, you put in your hours for that job and you know that in some companies that if you do X amount of sales or whatever type of it is, that you could be up for a promotion, you could be up for a bonus, you could be up for a raise. What I don't understand is why people in direct sales don't look at this business like their personal job, yet you are the one, the boss, calling the shots. You get to decide. So here's the thing. If you're somebody that doesn't know how to kick your own tush into gear to say, hey, you know, I got these goals, and if I don't get myself up out of bed today, if I don't go after work and do a few things, if I don't make a few calls, if I don't stamp these books, if I don't get out putting marketing materials out or giving out samples, guess what? Nothing changes. You're not getting the promotion. You're not getting the sales. You're not going to gain new customers. And it's the same thing if you're holding a day job, your boss would be watching. But in this sense, you're the boss. So you know what? You need to take a look at yourself. And if you're unhappy with where you're at in your direct selling business, whether it be Avon or you're watching this from another direct selling business, and you're not happy with where you're at, you need to take a good hard look at yourself and your activities and decide where you want to go with it and what you were currently doing that wasn't working. If those things were not working, cut them out and do something different. Let's go back to the restaurant scenario, okay? We're gonna use a restaurant scenario. I've used this before in some of my private coaching, but let's just say, um, you know, you open a brick and mortar restaurant. OK, and it's a brand new. It's your restaurant, just like your even business is your baby. OK, you are branding that restaurant just like you would be branding your Avon business. People don't know your food yet. People don't know your Avon products yet. OK, see, so we're relating. OK, people don't know your food yet at your restaurant. They don't know. They've never been in before. So what are you doing before? that business is launched. You put in all this money. You went to the bank. You got the loan. You're, you've opened your brick and mortar, mortar um, restaurant and you've hired your chefs and you are ready for grand opening. What did you do before the grand opening, right? You probably posted online. You probably went out in the community. You probably made sure that flyers were up everywhere, that you had signage on the side of the road that says grand opening of whatever. Make sure you come out for the grand opening. Maybe you did tasting events uh, for your food. Um, you know, ahead of time so people would know what they were going to be getting. Uh, maybe you got some word of mouth, you know, ahead of time. Hey, you need to check out the new restaurant that's opening. They're doing a special the night of the grand opening. They're having music. They're having whatever. Do you see what I'm getting? If you were putting lots and lots of money into a brick and mortar business, you would not be so quick to give up after one week after one campaign, two campaigns, you'd be so vested that you would be willing to really make sure that you marketed it well and do the best that you can to get your samples out of your food so that the word of mouth begins. So with an Avon business, you got to do the same types of things. And then here's the thing. If you're not fly by night, okay, and you stick with it, those people are going to start talking. Oh, Lisa Monison, she's been my Avon lady for years. You don't have to worry. She comes back. You won't see. It's not like one of those other Avon ladies you might have had that was here for a week and then gone next week and you never saw them again. Okay. 
if you want your business to be successful in Avon or any direct selling business, you have to be the brand of your business and you have to stick with it and you have to have your customers have to trust you. They have to trust that you're going to come back again, even if they didn't purchase the first time. So all these people, if you go back to the restaurant again, all these people that you were handing flyers to for your restaurant and do you think all of them are going to come in the first time that you're promoting your restaurant? Probably not. If you got the balloons up and this, that, the other, and you got a, I don't know, a sign waiver, flipping a sign, whatever, right? Come to the restaurant, whatever you're handing out, but you've been doing that. You've been gearing up for this grand opening. You are just ready to go. Shouldn't you have the same amount of excitement and enthusiasm when it comes to your Avon business? Do you guys know what you are sitting on with an Avon business? The advertising is pretty much out there for you okay but now you need to be the brand you need to share the benefits with people you need to tell them why they need this lipstick why do they need it what is it going to do for their lips why is this better than another brand right what is the price point um you know if you're talking about a mascara for example you know what is the current mascara that they buy how much are they spending on it oh my goodness you spend thirty dollars on your mascara tell me about what you love about that mascara oh well, lisa i love that it. it gives me length and it gives me this really and you spend thirty dollars what if i could show you a mascara that has lycopene and vitamin e and no phthalates and no sulfates and it's good for your lashes and will give you length volume and all that you want and guess what it's intro price for $8.99 would you be interested in trying one of those what did I just do I sold benefits okay so we're talking about your business here you've got to brand it you cannot expect it to just happen overnight you need to be the face of your brand you need to wear the products you need to wear the scent you need to carry around candles and let people smell things and wear the clothing and wear the jewelry and the makeup um and you need to not be um a jumper and, and what i mean by that is if, if you're focusing on one main thing with your business your customer needs to know that you believe in that and if you are telling another story from your facebook or from you know when they see you the next time all of a sudden you got something else all branded on your car aside alongside the other they're gonna get a little confused okay so um let me just totally check here and see what we've got on comments what do you guys think give me some give me some feedback here if this is all hitting home with you all right, okay so let's see and Avon six second time with avon and maybe like i said this time oh my gosh sarah we've d discussed that we've discussed that and you can't you've got to stick with it Awesome. Laura says she's wearing her pert and bracelet today and she sold a breast cancer pin because she wore it. And that's exactly how it works, guys. So again, you know, I just want to reiterate how Avon, how can it be any different than somebody that has a brick and mortar? If you put all that money in a brick and mortar, you'd, you would do whatever it takes after all that planning and all that, the drive and the excitement you had to open that business to not let it sink and go under because you have a lot of time and money and blood, sweat and tears invested. People will give up on an Avon business because, oh, I spent $25, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. But if you only know what you're sitting on between building a good customer base, getting them coming back again and again, getting them to share with their friends, so then they, they begin to talk, right? So in the beginning, you might have your family and your friends and your neighbors and all the people you know, like that first order you know comes in and it's like awesome and you're like, woohoo, I had a $400 first order. And then you go with the next campaign and if you're, if you're not doing it, you know, right and you're trying to stick with the same people, hoping they're gonna buy from you again and again and again, suddenly that, that large order just starts to do, to do this, okay? Because you're trying to rely on the same people. So if you fill the pot and you get them to share a book and then you, you get out in your community and you utilize your day-to-day -day interactions with Avon because that's how our business works. We're people orientated. We're sharing that book with somebody that you meet in the grocery store line or in the fast food uh, line and, and saying, oh, this is for you and, and getting to know people. If you're a mom and you take your kids to school or you know you do work a full-time job, it's talking with that coworker and, and saying, oh my God, I got these new earrings from Avon and they're gorgeous and you know they're $9.99 and just, you know, I know you love long earrings. I see you wear them all the time. I wanted to show them to you. You know, it's it's that type of thing. So you have to be passionate. 
And you have to be ready to have some failures because if you're not if you're not failing at different times in your business, then I mean, you know, we say that we fail our way up. I guess is is you know because I can look back at in my 18 years and there's been lots of different failures. I'm not an, an always success. You know, there's been years where it's not been as good. Um, have I always been? I've always been PC. I will say that I've always been PC. I've made sure of that. But have I had years where maybe my unit sales weren't as good as the year before? Absolutely. Maybe I dropped the ball. I have to look at myself. I have to look at, you know, what was going on, you know, in my life and whether I, you know, whether I, I like, I, like I said, you sometimes have to look at yourself. Why did it, why did it, why wasn't it as good that year? So, um, you know, I just wanted to do this motivating video today and hopefully it hits home with some of you to just say, look, you know, if things aren't going the way you want them to go, you need to look at yourself. You need to figure out what am I currently doing and what can I do better to change things? And if you are just giving your business a, one campaign, two campaigns and saying, that's it. I didn't sell anything. Everybody told me no. Everybody said no, so I'm out. That's it. I guess I'm not good at this. I guess I can't sell Avon. Nobody wants to join me. Nobody, nobody's showing any interest. I said I quit. I feel really sad for you because this business has more than just it's more than just selling the product. It's building the relationships. It's helping other people, showing them how they can grow their business as well. But it's the people that we meet along the way that make it so rewarding. And then Avon throws out all these amazing incentives um, as well as our team. Our te I'm always doing different incentives for you guys to help motivate you and um, you know keep you engaged and excited. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how big of a cheerleader I am um, or how big of other cheerleaders are. Yes, that can motivate you and that can get you excited. And you're like, I got off this call with Lisa and I'm like ready to go. And I love that. I love that that helps you. And I'm glad that I'm able to, to be that for you, to help you. But at the end of the day, I cannot pull you off of your couch and push you out the door and say, go. I can say it. I, I guess I could say it. But I can't drive to your house and pull you out of the house and push you out the door. Um, you've got to, to have some self-motivation and go back to the why you started this and Figure out your your goals from and if it's if if it's baby steps for you, take the baby steps. If you are like me, some of you know my story that I suffer terrible anxiety and panic disorder, and I'm a lot better these days. But I still have my moments. You know that I had a year of agoraphobia where. I had to modify my business so that I, I didn't give it up, but I modified it to where people came to me and I was able to figure out how to continue the sales and keep, keep things going. Was that year, was I lower in sales? Yes. Did I still make President's Club? Yes, because I made sure, double dollars, whatever I had to do. But what I'm saying is through sickness, through any kinds of things, I have said I'm not giving up. I'm not letting this take my business. I'm not letting this... Thing that just happened and some of you know I'm going through some health stuff right now and it's not fun and it's it's not easy and we all you know have different struggles whether it be a, an illness that you suffer with or anxieties or somebody that passed in your family or you have a sick child or I mean there's there's all kind or you've lost a job or you're going through a divorce so you're you know there are things that we're all we're all human and we all go through things and we and and by let me just say this family first okay family is always first um taking care of things but you know what if you have that big enough why you don't throw the business down the tubes you say i'm going to keep this going i i put too much into it i have too much excitement for it i have too much excitement for the brand and the products and the people that i've already met and i have big visions and i have big goals for my business and if i just throw it away I lose all that forward progress, any progress that I'm starting to make. And then for those of you where it might be, you know, your second time with Avon or your third time with Avon, I hope this is your last time with Avon and that you stay and that you really see um, the value in helping other people, whether it be, you know, the products or the opportunity. Um, you know, we touch people's lives um, in so many different ways. Um, even just sitting and meeting with certain customers, you know, it's it's 
more, like I said, sometimes than just the money. You know, the money is there's a motivating factor, of course. I mean, we'd all be we'd all be lying if we said money wasn't part of the, the, the equation, okay? Money is a motivating factor. But is there other major, beautiful, rewarding things that come along owning your own business? Yes, like time freedom, spending time with your kids, being able to take vacations when you want. When you're having an anxiety day or you're sick in bed with stomach problems or whatever, saying, you know what, I can't do it today. But when I am better, I am going to like explode, you know, the rest of the week and make sure that I make up for the three days that I was just down. So you have that freedom and you have that flexi flexibility, whereas a day job and a day boss is going to say, you missed a week, you missed a week before. They may not be so easy on you and you may lose your job. So I'm just saying, you guys have something amazing. As our team, you know, we really care for each other. We work really tight knit with each other. And if I know, if I know there's something you're going through or you're struggling with something and you're having, you know, um, maybe just, you know, you're, you're having trouble getting out or whatever. Number one, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, subscribe, because I'm always doing kinds of videos to help you guys. Um, if you're not doing Avon University, hop in there and do Avon University. If you're not listening to some of the other motivating people in our Avon business or reading books, whatever, definitely do that because we've got so many wealth of, of people that can help you. Um, Molly is one of my good friends, Molly Stone Bib, onward no matter what. You got Teresa Paul, you got Lisa Scola, you got Lisa Wilbur, you got uh, my friend Gwen Shapiro. So there's uh, Bowman Shapiro, I should say. Um, so many different amazing uh, people that are all, we're all on different teams, but we all um, care for each other. Linda Montevon, one of my other amazing friends in Avon. So you're in a really good place with this business if you just open your eyes, open your eyes, look at the possibilities, look at what Avon gives you. We are one of the only businesses I know, first of all, that the startup is so low. And number two, that is, um, really just like the product lineup guys the product lineup like if i can't even we have health and wellness beauty skincare fragrance uh jewelry fashion candles giftables holiday items home decor i mean where are you going to find that all in one place so if you're if you have another business like i said like Everybody's prerogative to do what you and you're doing well with it and you love it, then by all means, stay with it if it's if it's working for you. But if you're like hands are dipped into five different things and you're wondering why I, I'm not successful, I'm not whatever, it's because you're trying to do way too much and you're making it way too complicated, focus your time and energy on the one that brings you the most joy, the one that brings you the most, um, you know, opportunity uh, and the one that you're most passionate about. And like I said, if, if Avon is your home, then let it be your home. Let us be your home. Or if you're with somebody else, like I said, you're watching this on YouTube, you know, go to your sponsor, say, I need help. Or I, I'm really passionate. This is my why. This is what I want to do with it. Let us know. We're not mind readers. We can't, we can't, like I said, drag you out of the house. We can't make you do anything. We can be the cheerleader all day long. But at the end of the day, it is you. It is up to you. And just know that on our team, I believe in you. You've got, and like I said, you've got an amazing cheerleader. I'm your biggest fan. Um, and I support you. Uh, we've got amazing people within our group and even outside of group that all are cheering you on. And you just have to want it as bad as we want it for you. And sometimes as a leader, I realize that I can't, even though I see, I might see potential in someone, um, you know, if they don't want it as much as I want it for them, I have to just let it go, you know, and that's sad for me when that happens because, you know, there's some people that just come in this business I'm like, oh my God, they're, you know, whatever, but then they give up on themselves. So don't give up on yourself. If you're watching this and this is, is, is resonating with you, if I'm talking to you, tell me I'm talking to you. Something said, make this video, do this video. If I'm talking to you, know that this all comes from a place of love. This comes from a place of care. Um, I want everybody to be successful, of course. Um, I want to see you reach your goals. If that's making that car payment or, you know, putting your kids through private school or taking them to Disney or being able to put just groceries on the table, paying a phone bill, whatever the, the need is, whether it be a small need to a large need to bigger goals, you got to start somewhere. And it could be with the small thing, like 
Maybe it's something just for you, getting your nails done once a week and being able to put some milk, bread, and eggs on the table. You know, that's how mine started. Mine started with just, I want to be able to put uh, milk, bread, and eggs, extra diaper money. That's what mine started as. And now it's paying for trips and it's, you know, I'm earning trips and we're going places. And gosh, when I see team members earning the share of the love stuff, my God, so many of you got that $400 kit, got the share the love bag. So many of you are, are killing it in your Kickstarter program, starting your teams, getting your first representatives on your team. I know the excitement. I've been there, you know, at one point in my business. But you know what? When these new incentives come out, for new people, we get a lot of new ones. And then Avon has other ones for those of us that have been here, you know, a long time. And Los Cabos, Mexico is going to be coming up, guys. That's going to be campaign one through campaign eight. All of you, it doesn't matter where you are. You don't have to be a top seller or a top leader. You could be at any level in your business. You could be watching this video in November, okay? And just starting, and maybe you are. Maybe you just signed up. You happen to follow on my channel. You're watching this, and you're like, I did. I just started last week. She's talking to me. Oh, my God, she's talking to me. Maybe you just started, and you're like, oh, I could never win. I could never, and people say win. I could never win a trip to, to such and such. First of all, it's not win. It's earn, because you work your tush off to get there, okay? But everybody has the same opportunity, okay, as the next to earn these trips, all expenses paid to Los Cabos. We were in Bermuda this year. We were in Bahamas last year. You don't have to be the top of the top. You don't have to be, you know, top, top seller or top, top leader. I've seen people come in this business first couple campaigns and they start working on that incentive and they can earn it. And we've seen a lot of them earn it because they just work, work it. Consistency, consistency, guys. Dedication, just stick with it. I really care for all of you. I hope this at home. I will read the comments after. If you are on YouTube and you're not yet subscribed, hop down below, subscribe to the videos uh, here, and hit the bell for new ones. I appreciate you. All of my team members, you know, this is happening live for you right now in the group. You know how much we, uh, we care for you and want to see you succeed and can't wait to read your comments. You guys have an awesome rest of your week. Get out there. Make yourself proud first. And I know you're going to make me and everybody else proud too, but you have to make yourself proud first. Okay. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your week.